My name is Kalyan Verma. I'm a, I work for a company called TUV Rhineland India Private Limited. I'm a vice president of operations over there. Just to let you know, we are neighbors of ISBR. We have a lab next door to this particular location, and we are in Electronic City from past 10 years. So I knew ISBR from past uh, 10 years over here, and even we had some students from here in our organization who are doing quite well. So um, it was quite interesting for me because uh, I see the, the the way they were going, the way they are trying to be innovative to uh, make sure the gap between the industry and the academy gaps because that is one of the biggest challenge what we see today. So um, the way the new programs are in, in, in introduced by ISBR, it's always interesting to see these gaps to be covered so that the students or industry uh, fit the moment they are step out of the colleges or universities out. That's a quite interesting one. Um, see, uh, um, I think there are quite a lot of things were told today during the uh, in sessions of them. Then failures is one which you need to be really think. Hardworking is quite important. Even I was a student some time back. So that's where that pays off. And then uh, you need to be really uh, industry oriented. What you learn in the college as students, uh, that need to be on your back of your mind. But you need to adopt to the changes in the industry uh, to at a very fast extent. Maybe five years back we were not talking about artificial intelligence, but today artificial intelligence has become a big topic. The same with our communication channel. So the students require to be more proactive and try to see the gaps how in the industry required to be adopted. So this needs to be more interesting on that particular area. I mean, um, um, I have some personal issues because um, every year, if you see, we uh, almost recruit 30 to 40 uh, students into our uh, uh, labs as well as engineers into our organization. Um, one, uh, when they step out, they come out with very high expectations. Uh, and then when you don't achieve your expectation, you put you let yourself down. So that's where I think the biggest difference. Uh, maybe this is a trend or maybe this is the... Uh, I, I, I say myself uh, uh, a generation gap. When we were out, our first job, first thing was to get a job. We don't care how much it was paying. But now, a student coming out would expect a very good job on the day one. I mean, that's something which I think the psychological preparation of the student might have to be done in the colleges itself because they need to set their expectations at very, very normal level. Then you can always uh, be satisfied by yourself. So that's one of the fundamental um, difference what I see in today's expectation students and that they see after a couple of years of attempts, what the moment they don't see the success what they are expected, they suddenly let themselves down.